Hi there, my name is Chris Wilson and I work at Westside Church and I'm honoured today to bring you your assembly. Now, I'd imagine a few things are looking a little different since, you know, the last time you were at school. And, you know, that can be a little bit scary and a little bit confusing, but that's okay because we're going to be talking a little bit about that today. But before we get into that, let's play a game all together. It's called Follow Me and the way it works is very simple. All you need to do is what I do. Uh, so if I do it, you copy along. Make sure you stay nice and safe while you're doing this. Uh, so here we go. Hands on your head. Hands on your shoulders. Cross your shoulders. Hands in the air! Probably can't see mine. Hands on your knees. Hands folded. Head looking up. Head looking down. Head looking left. Head looking right. Lift up your shoulders and bring them back down. Rotate your shoulders and bring them on forwards. Hmm. Let's see if we can do that a little bit faster. Here we go. Keep following what I do. Copy best you can. Remember, stay safe. Hands in the air. Head looking up. Hands on your knees. Head looking down. Left shoulder up. Right shoulder up. Both shoulders down. Rotate. Here we go. Elbows together. Looking left, looking right, looking up, looking down. Rotate the shoulders. <laughs> awesome, well done everyone. Now do you think you can do that even faster? Here we go, are you ready? Stay safe. Looking up, looking down, looking left, looking right. Hands in the air, hands on your knees. Rotate your shoulders, rotate your shoulders. Shoulders up, shoulders down. Right shoulder, left shoulder, elbows together. <laughs> Okie dokie, calm down, calm down. So, as I said at the beginning, we're going to be talking a little bit about some of the big changes that are happening at the moment. And maybe some of you are feeling a little bit scared or nervous about all of that. So here's a story I'd like to tell you. It's a story taken straight out. What is that? Woof! And now it's time for Fairy Friends Films! Woohoo! Ruff! Yeah! Oh boy, oh boy! I've just finished school and I'm gonna go to the shop and get myself some chocolate with my pocket money. Very excited! Ooh, ooh, uh, um. Can I help you, young man? Oh, uh, oh, I, I just, I just, um, oh. Hmm, how strange. Oh, oh. Hmm, you're home a little early. Don't you normally go to the shop on the way home from school? Oh, well, yes, but um, I got scared going in the shop because the shopkeeper looked all different. He was wearing this mask. I didn't know what to do. You don't need to be afraid, my son. Come on, we'll go back to the shop together. I'm sure it'll be just fine. Oh, uh, uh, hello. Um, can I please get some chocolate? Why, certainly, my dear. Here you go. Thanks, Dad. There are a lot of things at the moment that are kind of different. There's this whole new law that's just come in about how only six people can meet together at the same time. People are wearing face masks all over the place. And all the time we're being told to wash our hands. And maybe some of you are a little bit scared by all of this that's going on. I know I felt a bit scared near the beginning. But it's always a lot easier to be brave, to feel safe when you have someone looking after you and helping you through it. Oh, hello there. Oh, hi. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm the one from the story. Uh, they never told you my name. My name is Nanook. Well, nice to meet you, Nanook. Uh, it's, it's great to meet you. Oh, well, thank you. Um, anyway, uh, in the story, I was scared because I didn't know why the person in the shop was wearing a mask and there were so many changes going on and it's just all the, the not knowing that I'm finding difficult. 
Yeah. I can definitely understand that. Uh, and like I was about to say, uh, it's a lot easier to be able to manage these sorts of things when we have someone who's comforting us. Didn't you feel a lot better once your dad was there with you? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I still didn't know what was going on, but I felt better because I had my dad with me. Uh, have you ever felt something like that? Yeah, I have. I feel that way a lot of the time, too. Uh, you know, the reason I'm feeling a little bit better about all the things going on at the moment is because I believe that I have someone with me right now. Oh, really? Uh, I can't see anyone with you. It's just you on your own talking to me. Well, I mean, yeah, I haven't got someone physically in with me right now, but I believe in Jesus. I believe in God. And because of that, I believe that he goes with me wherever I go and is a real source of comfort to me because of that. Wow! Someone with you all the time, but you can't see them necessarily? Yeah, it's just a source of comfort. In the same way that you felt comforted because you had your dad with you when you are in the shop, I feel comforted because, you know, I have Jesus with me wherever I go. Wow! Can I have Jesus with me wherever I go too? Absolutely you can. In fact, I was about to tell everyone about it in the form of this story. Let's go and have a quick look. Mark chapter 1, verses 16 to 20. When Jesus was walking by Lake Galilee, he saw Simon and Simon's brother, Andrew. They were fishermen and they were throwing a net into the lake to catch fish. Jesus said to them, come and follow me and I will make you fishermen of men. So Simon and Andrew immediately left their nets and followed him. Jesus continued walking by Lake Galilee. He saw two more brothers, James and John, the sons of Zebedee. They were in a boat preparing their nets to catch fish. Their father Zebedee and the men who were working with him were in the boat with the brothers. Jesus saw the brothers and called out to them come with, uh, to come with him. They left their father and followed Jesus. You see, there used to be a lot of people that uh, wanted to have someone to follow. And so Jesus came along one day and started inviting people to follow him. Jesus was going around and asking loads of people to come and join him. He goes over to a fisherman called Simon, he goes over to another man called Mark, he goes over to a bunch of brothers, uh, the brothers of Zebedee, uh, and he asks them to come and follow him. And they just go with him? Yeah, because they felt comforted by knowing that they were going to have someone that they would lead them, that would look after them, and that would help them. And that's who Jesus is for us. He's someone that we who looks after us and helps us. Wow, that sounds brilliant. You know, it's, it's really reassuring to know that even in all these changes and confusing things, that we have someone who can be with us and look after us. Thank you very much for having me. Well, it was lovely having you too. Look after yourself, okay? Okay, thanks. Bye. I'm gonna quickly pray. If you'd like to join in with my prayer, which is when we speak with God, then all you need to do is say Amen at the end. It means I agree. And if you don't want to, that's absolutely fine. Just remain quiet for everyone else. Father God, I thank you that you are with us and look after us, even when we feel scared. Lord, lots of things are very different at the moment. And I pray that you would be with us and keep us safe, even with all these things that are going on differently. Keep us safe in school, keep us safe at home, Keep those that we love and care about safe too, we pray in your good name. Amen. Well, that just about wraps up our assembly. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye!